So the first thing to do is you mark the following lines, the waistline, the hip line, M line, and the M allowance. So we have this ready. Then the next thing is you measure and mark the waist quarter plus the dart intake on the waistline. As you can see here. And the next one is you mark the hip quarter to the quarter of the hip on the hip line as well. You mark that as you can see here. Then the next thing is that you mark the quarter of the hip plus like one to half of an inch allowance just to give you ease. Then you connect the waistline to the hip line with a curve ruler as you can see here. So uh, that's what we did. And the next thing is you join the hip line to the M line with a straight ruler as you can see here. So we already have our basic sketch ready. Now I'm going, I extended a half of an inch on the top of the waistline. This will enable the sketch to sit well on the tummy. Then I use my curve ruler to extend that half of an inch. So the next thing is I mark my dart point. Your skirt, your blouse usually determine this. So I mark my dart point. Then I also mark the half of my dart intake on each of the points. Can you see that? So, and my front uh, dart leg is usually six inches. So I mark that. Then I mark my dart line. I've said that earlier. So, <clears throat> then I square down the midpoint of the dart leg. So this is just a guideline for the dart, for the dart creation. So I square down, then I create my dart, as you can see. So we have our dart ready and our skirt block almost ready. Now, this is what we have so far. We have our dart, our side has been shaped. So we move to the next stage now. Now I'm going to create a perfect fit for the front skirt block. So this is by measuring half of an inch on the center on the center front line. So then I connect the half of an inch to that half of an inch that I extended at the side. So I represented it as A to B. Then we complete our front skirt block. So you can add your seam allowance. Now I'm going to trace my front skirt block on another pattern paper to get my back bodies. You can also modify your front block too if you will not be confused. So I'm tracing out using my tracing wheel. I'm tracing out the front block on the new pattern paper. Then I use my pencil to trace out the pattern so that I can see it and work with it. So this is my back bodies now. And I'm going to modify it. So the first thing I did is to prevent my zipper botch. I measure in um, half of an inch on my center front line. So that and I connect that half of an inch that I slanted to the hip line. So we have a slant uh, center back now. So I create my dart point, and now my dart intake will be half of an inch. Now I I won't be using the cutter. Or I won't be using one inch again. So I'm using quarter of an inch on each side to give me half of an inch for my dart intake for the back. So then I create my dart. So you can see the dart is not as wide as the front bodies, and this is because of the slanted center back. So we connect that extended uh, line now to, I blended it with the waistline in order to raise that side a bit. Then my back body is also ready. As you can see, add your seam allowance. So the front block is ready too, and you can trace this out on our fabric now. So thanks for staying with me. I remain Toyma. Bye.